Learn how IVF with pre-implantation genetic testing for monogenic or single gene disorders, known as PGTM, helps to reduce the risk of your baby being born with an inherited genetic disease. To understand how PGTM works, it's helpful to learn the basics of genetics. Our bodies are made up of billions of cells and each nucleated cell normally contains 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. Chromosomes are made up of DNA. Our DNA is comprised of even smaller sections known as genes, which contain the code and instructions for our individual characteristics, such as eye color and height. We inherit all of our chromosomes and genes from our parents. Each parent passes along one chromosome from a pair and thus one copy of each gene to their child. Sometimes genes have alterations or changes in the DNA code called a mutation. When a gene mutation alters a protein that plays a critical role in the body, it can disrupt normal development or cause a genetic disease. Genetic mutations can also be passed down from parent to child. Dominant disorders are when one copy of a gene mutation is needed to result in a disease or syndrome. Examples of autosomal dominant disorders include Huntington disease and breast cancer. Recessive disorders are when two copies of the gene mutation are needed to express a disease. Examples of autosomal recessive disorders include cystic fibrosis and Tay-Sachs disease. X-linked inheritance is when a gene causing a trait or a genetic disease is located on the X chromosome. Mutations in genes on the X chromosome can be either recessive or dominant. A male with a mutation in a gene on the X chromosome is typically affected with the condition. This is because females have two copies of the X chromosome and males have only one X chromosome. X-linked recessive diseases are more common among males than females. Examples of X-linked disorders include fragile X and haemophilia. Through advancements in reproductive genetics, cells from your embryos can be removed and screened with molecular techniques to determine which embryos are affected by chromosomal abnormalities and or single gene mutations. By only selecting and transferring the embryos identified to not have one or both inherited mutations, you can reduce the risk of passing mutations to your children and commence your pregnancy with an unaffected embryo. PGTM is performed in conjunction with in vitro fertilization or IVF. The day of egg retrieval is day zero in our timeline. This is the day that the eggs and sperm are collected. Each mature egg that is retrieved will be fertilized using ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. With ICSI, a single sperm is injected into a single egg. On day one, the embryologist will come into the lab and check the embryos for normal fertilization. Over the next several days, the fertilized eggs will begin to grow and divide. Around day five through day seven, the embryos are made up of approximately 80 to 100 cells which is known as the blastocyst stage of development. It's important to understand that not all of your embryos may grow or reach the blastocyst stage. When an embryo does reach the blastocyst stage, the embryologist will remove three to six cells from an embryo through biopsy. The embryonic cells that are removed are called trophectoderm cells, which are the cells that will form the future placenta. Cells are never removed from the inner cell mass. These are cells that will form the future fetus. The risk of damage to the embryo is very rare, occurring less than 1% of the time. The biopsy cells are then analyzed by the genetics lab for chromosome numeration and the specific inherited gene mutations in your family. While you wait for your results, your embryos are frozen and stored in the lab. CCRM uses a freezing process called vitrification, which is the most advanced freezing process available with an embryo survival rate of greater than 98%. Embryos identified to be free of the single gene mutations are selected for transfer to the uterus during an IVF cycle. Tens of thousands of unaffected children have been born worldwide from PGTM for hundreds of different inherited single gene disorders. CCRM can screen for any known inherited disorder caused by mutation in a single gene. There are thousands of single gene disorders, 
and the most common diseases tested are cystic fibrosis, spinal muscular atrophy, Tay-Sachs, Fragile X, myotonic dystrophy, and thalassemia. We can also screen for any known family mutations that cause hereditary cancers, such as BRCA mutations and inherited breast cancer. You might consider PGTM if you had a child or pregnancy with a single gene disorder. You and your partner are carriers of the same autosomal recessive condition. You or your partner have an autosomal dominant condition. You are a carrier of an X-linked condition. You or your partner have a mutation associated with a hereditary cancer syndrome. If you are unsure if you or your partner are carriers of a single gene disorder, please ask your CCRM physician about a genetic risk assessment. To learn more, visit us online at ccrmivf.com.